You know, talking about politics is probably something in a room this large is probably not a good thing to do, but I usually do things I'm not supposed to, so let me, let me just say this. Today might be something that we can all agree on. I get the honor to talk about FIT um, and the FIT bill. That being said, I just want to get a feeling for how many people here know what a health savings account, an SHA or an FSA is, and how many people have them. Could you raise your hand to see? Okay, it's pretty good. That's a, probably a third of the people. Let me just get, start from the beginning so you understand. The health savings accounts are pre-tax accounts, medical savings accounts, that you can put money into that can be used for medical expenses, i.e. after you get sick type things, medicine, things like that. What we're proposing with the FIT bill is that we would expand that use to include healthy lifestyle activities. So what would they be? They would be things like kids' sports leagues. They would be um, exercise programs, exercise equipment. And guess what? Health club memberships. How good would that be? Now, so what, what exactly does that mean? That means that these accounts, because they're pre-tax dollars, means whatever you spend it on, you get a 20 to 30 percent reduction in the cost of that for, for, for the individual. So imagine you have a, just to make it easy for me, a thousand dollar health club membership. Effectively, that individual is really paying 700 to 800 dollars, a 20 to 30 percent discount because it would be done with pre-tax dollars. Think of the impact that would have on our industry. We haven't been able to move the needle too much, in, more so in the last year under Derek Gallup's leadership. We've moved the needle uh, with more health club members globally in the United States. But that's always been a sticking point. We've always been 15%, 18%, whatever. Let me give you a couple statistics that I think are mind-boggling. There's 60 million health club members and exercise uh, joiners of different things in, in the U.S. And I'm sorry, European people and, and international, I'll get to you, I'll tie you in in a minute. There's 80 million HSAs and FSAs. Look at the pool of people that are already members of our clubs that millions that would be getting discounts now that they didn't get before of 20 to 30 percent to buy your product. That's huge. Talk about a good retention tool, amazing. Number two, think of all those people that haven't engaged in our clubs, that now are going to join because they're going to be incentivized to do so. It, industry experts, that's not me, people that I respect in the industry, Riccaro, a number of people, have told me that this would be the, one of the most significant things in the history of our industry. Think about that. I mean, we've been around, when URSA was founded and from 1982, all the unbelievable th things they've done to get this industry where it is today. And here we are talking about something that could be one of the most significant things in our history. To me, that's amazing. Where are we now? Well, this week we're really close. There was a bill, the, uh, which is called the Omnibus. I don't want to get too political with you. But the reality is a spending bill. We were at the doorstep of getting this passed this week. Amazing. We have 140 co-sponsors, congressmen and senators, the most in the history that we've got. This is a bipartisan bill. Democrats and Republicans actually agree on something. Go, go figure. And why? Because it makes sense. Our lives work is exercise is medicine. Our lives work globally is to cure the obesity epidemic. This vehicle, the Fit Bill, will help to do that. And once this damn thing, sorry, is passed, <laughs> the U.S. government will validate that what we do is truly worthwhile and is the cure the biggest cure for, the, for the, the, the problem with our healthcare system. They are validating our lives work, what you guys do every day, so you should be proud of that. What, what you're doing is changing lives, making lives better. Let me check my notes. 
So with that being said, there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is we've got a strong coalition of other partners working with URSA. We've got an unbelievable staff at Earth, URSA, Helen Durkin, Jeffrey Perkins, Meredith Poplar, board members, but they can't do it by themselves. You guys live in these districts where these congressmen are. I don't know if you realize it or not, I figured it out like three years ago, I got involved a little bit in the political process, and I had some ulterior motives that were beyond uh, getting another bill passed, the right to try. But I figured out you needed to be in the game to get things done. And you guys are in the game because you know why? You bring votes to the table. And what do, what do politicians need more than anything? It's votes. So I'm going to ask you to go home, and I'm going to ask you to go and talk to your congressman. Pick up the phone. He works for you. Your senator works for you. It's sad to say I probably think a lot of you right now may not know who your congressman is. That's a problem, big problem. But we're going to solve that. We're going to solve that. So I want to see a show of hands. Do you guys want us to get this damn bill passed, or do you want to sit on your hands and not do anything? OK. Some of you do. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to take action. I need to get engaged, I need to get involved. Take out your phones, hold them up so I can see you're, you're doing what I'm doing. If you don't feel comfortable with this, you don't have to do it, but I'm asking you, I need your help. Put this phone number in your uh, phone. Can you do that now? Again, if you feel comfortable, do this. But I need your help. URSA needs your help. Our coalition needs your help. Put that phone number in there. Now, do me a favor, put your name, the city you live in, and the state. Can you do that for me? All right, now I'm going to check up on you guys, because you're texting to my phone number. <laughs> well, I, Allison Flatley's calling me. I don't know what that's all about. I just want you to text, Allison. We'll talk later. All right, I'm starting to hear a little bit. Oh, somebody's calling me. We don't want that. Another Florida's calling me. You hear that? I need as many people as possible. Is that it? I got three people? Another phone call. People are calling me. Stop calling me. Just text me. My God. Four? Huh? It's on WhatsApp? I need you up here. Somebody else is calling me from... Uh, Grand from San Diego. Oh, I probably didn't pay my room bill. I need you folks to get engaged, and this is what's going to happen. Myself and my director of uh, public advocacy, Linda Mitchell, is going. We're both going to call you next week. If I get too many, by the way, it's starting to pick up now. Thank you. Um, we will call you next week and coach you on how to get engaged and how to get this thing done. We will spend as much time, give you as much information. We'll meet you in Washington, D.C. if it needs to be. But we need to get from 140 co-sponsors to 200. Because I'm telling you, it's coming back, if it's not two weeks from now, because these guys got to take a break for two weeks. They're tired from working so hard down there in Washington. So they go off on Easter break. Go figure. They're off every other month, I think. We're, we're going, they're going to come back in session, and there's a number of vehicles that are available to us to get on. I'm telling you, the White House has even endorsed HSAs. And that might be the kiss of death, by the way, but because sometimes he endorses things and the other side doesn't want to help him out. But the bottom line, we've got bipartisan support. So I want to leave you with this. We can't get this done without you. And Ursa can only take us so far. As wonderful as they are, you have the relationships with these folks. And if you can't get them to, to have common sense, something that's going to not only prolong lives, save lives, what we do for a living, what we were put on earth to do is to make people better, exercise is medicine, I need your help. Thank you.